Hey everybody, this is Mr. Math Blog, and this lesson is Whole Number Operations, and you can find all of your lessons at mrmathblog.com, M-R-M-A-T-H-B-L-O-G.com. Okay, and I'll show you where to get to that in, uh, in the next uh, two or three lessons here, okay? So, so we're going to start off with our basic operations, which are addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division. So addition, the word for addition is sum. You might see words like total. Um, that also is some um, algebra, just something like that. So, so a plus b, five plus two, seven plus x. You'll find out later. So, anything with an addition sign, that plus sign right there. Subtraction. Uh, the big word for subtraction is difference. So, the difference of, and so there it is right there. Multiplication. The word for multiplication typically is product, so the product of. So a couple ways to think about multiply. Sometimes they do an X to multiply. Sometimes they do a dot. I didn't put it in here. I should, but sometimes they do parentheses. So it'd be like parentheses A closed in parentheses and then right next to it parentheses B. Anyway, we'll get well, as we get to that, we'll talk more about that. And then division is quotient. So quotient, you can do A divided by B, or fraction is a division problem. A over B is the same thing. Um, you might be familiar with um, uh, A divided by B, so B goes on the outside, and we're going to be using this method uh, today in this lesson here. All right, let's get started here. So here we're going to add and subtract some numbers here. So here we have a bar graph that shows the attendance of a three-day art festival. Okay, so so the attendance, I can make this bigger so we can see that. So here's day one, day two, day three. So 2570, 3145, and 3876. So those are our three days right here. So the first question says, what is the total? Total means addition. Total attendance for all for the whole art festival. So we're going to add these three numbers together right here. Okay, so uh, to find the total, we're looking for the sum, and we're going to go ahead and add them. So, so these are in thousands. This is twenty or two thousand five hundred seventy. This is three thousand one hundred forty-five, three thousand eight hundred seventy-six. So this is the thousands did the thousands sorry digit this is the hundreds digit this is the the tens digit and the ones digit so we start over here at the ones digits and we're going to add six plus five six plus five is eleven so eleven is a two digit number so i'll put the one right here and the one for the ten spot on the eleven right there so here's the eleven these two red numbers now so now this uh this one ten is going to be in uh the sum of these tens right here so now we're going to add up these ten so it's one plus seven is eight eight plus four is is uh, 12 and then 12 plus 7 gets us uh, 19 right there so there's our 19 right there so we carried the, the one over here and now we're going to add up these hundred digits so one plus five is six six plus one is seven and then seven plus eight is 15 so five goes down here and we carry the one right there just ringing a bell hopefully you guys all right if not that's okay you'll get used to it and then uh, now let's go ahead and add these uh, thousands digits. So 1 plus 2 is 3, plus 3 is 6, plus 3 is 9. So we get 9,591. So the total attendance uh, for the all three days is 9,591 people. Okay, so now this one here is what is the increase in attendance from, oops, this should say day 1 to day 2. Let's put that in there, day 1 to day 2. Uh, so uh, what we're going to do, I got to copy and paste that. I forgot that. So we're going to we're going to find out how much did it increase right here. So this indicates we're going to subtract those two numbers right there. So so we're going to find the difference. So we're going to take the 3145 and subtract the 2570. OK, so now we're the same thing except adding. We're going to subtract. So five minus zero is zero. I'm just adding or subtracting the the ones first and then four minus seven we can't do four minus seven because seven's bigger so we got to borrow from this this next digit over the hundreds digit so i'm going to cross this out and make it a zero and then this four becomes a 14 so there it is right there okay so um now we can do um oops i forget something here let me do that 
dun, dun, dun. Where's my 14? I thought I had it on. There it is. Okay, sorry about that. Here's my 14. My, uh, so my bad, as my students say. I teach at a high school in, in uh, Sacramento. All right, so now it's 14 minus 7. 14 minus 7 is 7. So I'm going to go ahead and put the 7 right there. And then here, now we're going to do the hundreds digits. Digit 0 minus 5, we can't do that. So we're going to borrow from this 3 and make it a 2 and change this 0 to 10. Okay, so now this 3 is a 2 and then the 0 becomes a 10. Then we can do 10 minus 5 and 10 minus 5 is 5. So so let's answer the question. So there's going to be uh, the increase in attendance from day one to day two is 575 people. Okay, let's go ahead and do this guy here. So here we're going to do some multiplying whole numbers. So a school lunch contains 12 chicken nuggets. 95 students, I don't know why the book didn't write the number 95. We will in just a second. Uh, 95 students buy the nugget lunch. So remember, every uh, lunch contains 12 chicken nuggets. So what is the total number of nuggets being served? Okay, so here we're doing 95 groups of 12 nuggets, which indicates multiplying. Well, this indicates right here multiplying also. So let's multiply 95 times 12. Okay, now um, uh, 12 times 95 you guys is very close to 12 95 is close to 100 and 100 is a nice number to multiply with we just multiply this number times one and add two zeros so 12 times one is 12 with uh, two zeros so 1200 now our answer is going to be a little bit less because 95 is a little bit less than 100 so if we get something close to 1200 a little bit less then our answer would be probably correct it would be reasonable anyway so let's go ahead and multiply so I'll go ahead and did 5 times 2 is 10, and I carry the 1 right here, and then here's the 0 for the 10, so 1, 0. And then we're going to do 5 times 1 is 5, and we add that 1, so it's going to get us 6 right there. All right, now when we start multiplying with this number, we're going to leave a space right here. I like, to, some people leave a space, some people put an X right there. I like to put a 0 right there just for place value so I don't I don't uh, miss line up my numbers here so I'm going to put a zero right here when I'm multiplying the hundreds digits so here I'm going to put a zero and then I'm going to multiply nine times two is 18 so I'll put the the eight down here and I'll change this one to a different one but for the 18 right there so there's eight the one eight okay and do you remember what we do after this we're going to uh, add those two right there. So, oops, I forgot to do nine times uh, one is nine plus one is 10. So there's the 10 right there. And then we add these guys. Sorry, getting a little ahead of myself. All right, let's go ahead and add. So zero plus zero is zero. Um, six plus eight is 14. We'll carry the one. So there's the zero right there. And then six plus eight is 14. There's my 14. One plus zero is one. And then finally, we're going to go ahead and slide that next one down there. All right. Now, can you see that this is a little bit less than this? So it is a reasonable answer right here. Um, and then so let's answer the question. So there were 1,140 chicken nuggets served on that day. All right. Okay, so here's another one. So this one's dividing whole numbers. It does not have a, a remainder. The next one will have a remainder, and the remainder has a has a context in the problem also. We'll find out. But here we're going to make 24 equal payments for a go-kart, and we make a total of $840 in payments. Okay, so, so 24 payments that goes into 840. So how much is each payment? So, so we want to find the number of groups of 24 and 840, which indicates division. Okay, and your book likes to say quotient uh, to sound fancy, I suppose. So a quick reminder with all these uh, quotients and divisors and dividends, okay? So the dividend is the 840, and the divisor is going to be the 24, and our answer is the quotient right here, okay? Fancy names, you guys, but they pop up a lot in your textbooks right here. Sometimes I have to remind myself. I'm sure your your teachers do too if they haven't used it for 
uh, at least a couple of months, you just kind of forget and you just kind of got to remember. So, so I know quotient is answer and what you're uh, dividing uh, dividing into, that's your divisor. And then, so the other one must be the dividend. Now, when it's written like this, your divisor goes on the outside, the dividend's right here, and here's the answer right here. That's the quotient right there. So I'm gonna choose this method right here and put the 24 here and the 840 here, and we're looking for our quotient right there, okay? So, so we're gonna see 24 goes into the first digit, okay? 24 doesn't go into 8. 24 is already bigger than 8, so we're going to slide over and think of not 8, but 84, okay? So since 24 is greater than 8, move to the right one digit. All right, now 24 is close to 25, and 25 is a quarter, like a, a piece of money. A quarter is 25 cents. I know 3 quarters is 75 cents, and 4 quarters is a dollar. So if I think about three, this is close to 25 cents. Three times uh, 25 is 75, so I'm thinking three. So let's do 24 times three right here, okay? So that's what I'll do right here. Okay, now I'll multiply. Three times four is 12, so I'll put the two down here and carry the one, okay? There's that, and then we do three times two is six. Six plus one is seven, so we get 72. That's what goes right here, the 72 right here. And then we subtract, 84 minus 72. And when we subtract, we don't have to borrow or anything. Four minus two is two. Eight minus seven is one, so we get 12 there, and then we slide the next number down right there, okay? So let's go ahead and slide that down, and then we do it again. We go 24 goes into this number now. Now I know that 24 times 10 is 240. 24, anything times 10, just add a zero onto it. And, and we want to get it to be 120, which is half of 240. So instead of making it 10, make this 5. So 24 times 5 gets us that 120 right there. Because 24 times 10 is 240, so half of that would be 24 times 5, which is 120. All right, so when we subtract, we get uh, 0 right there. Let's go ahead and answer the question right here. So how much was each payment? So the quotient is going to be uh, 35. The quotient of 840 and 24 is 35. So each payment was 35 bucks or $35. Okay. I had a student um, oh, a few years ago. Uh, she, she came over from Turkey and uh, she was in my class and she was um, uh, just learning uh, the, uh, English, the English language. And, and when I said buck one time, she came up after class and politely asked me, what's a buck? And um, and I hadn't realized, uh, well, because I've been growing up with it, a buck is a dollar. So when I say 35 bucks, it's $35. So anyway, and this is our dollar sign right here. Your book likes to check your answers right here. So to check, we, we to check a division problem, we just multiply, okay? So your book says find the product of the quotient and the divisor. So here was our, our quotient, the answer and the divisor, and it should give us our dividend. Our dividend was 840. So when we multiply, so four times five, we'll do that first. So I'll show you what I did. Four times five is 20. So here's the two, here's the zero. Okay, and then I did four times three is 12. 12 plus two is 14. So there's my 14 with the zero. Okay, now we'll do two, we'll multiply this two, and I'll put a zero there for the spacing right there. So two times five is 10, carry the one, and then we do, um, so there's the, here's the 10, one, zero, and then two times three is six, six plus one is seven, and then we add these two and we add them, we get 840, so our answer was correct. All right, now, this is the old school way to multiply. There's other ways to multiply. Here's another way real quick. 35 is the same as 30 plus 5, and 24 is the same as 20 plus 4. So when I multiply these, I can just multiply these. So here I'll multiply the 30 times 20. Well, 3 times 2 is 6, and then add the two zeros. 30 times 4, 3 times 4 is 12, and add the one zero, so 120. And then 5 times 2, well, 5 times 2 is 10, but add the 0, so it's 100. And then 5 times 4. So look, I did 30 times 20 is 600. And then I did 30 times 4 is 120. Notice I'm lining them up over here to add. And then I'll multiply the 5. So 5 times 20 is, is 100. And then 5 times 4 is 20. And when we add those up, we get 
840. So whatever way, your book asks you to check your answer. So that's how we do that. All right, let's do one more. Okay, so this one's going to give us a remainder. It's a division problem with a remainder. So a real life application. So at the fair, they have these things called yo-yos. Um, at least that's what I grew up on. But this is called a a, a high swing at an amusement park. I guess they don't use that term. Oh, yes, they do. There we go. See, it says yo-yo right there. <laughs> anyway, uh, it's so a 301 foot high swing at an amusement park can take 64 people on the ride on each ride. Okay, so uh, a total of 8,983 people rode the swing on one day. All of the rides are full except for the very last one. So how many rides are given and how many people are on the last ride? So so this 301 is um, extraneous solution. We don't need that. It's extra, it's an extra, I'm sorry, extraneous information. It's extra information that we don't need. We need to divide 64 into 8,983. So need to find the number of groups of 64 people in that uh, 8,983. So that means division. Okay, 64 goes into 89 one time. And then so we're going to subtract. And when we subtract, we get 25. And then we'll slide the 8 down. And then uh, we'll do 64 goes into 258. Now think of this as 60 right here. 60 times 6 times 4 is 24. So 60 times 4 is 240, so I'm guessing 4 because this is close to 60, this is close to 240. So if we try 4 right there, okay, I'm going to just um, uh, multiply 64 times 4, and I'm doing it this way. 64 times 4 is the same as 60 plus 4, there's 64 times 4. And then I'll do... 4 times 6 is 24 with a 0, so 240. And then 4 times 4 is 16, so we get 240 plus 16, which equals 256. So now we'll subtract. Okay, when we subtract, we get 2. Now, a lot of students stop there, but I still have one more digit, so I have to slide this digit down right here. And we still have to divide. I know 64 goes into 23. It doesn't. But we still have to, for place value, put a zero right here because there's a. it's really important to line up when you're dividing which ones you're dividing. I still have to insert the zero right there. So, so we got to go 64 times zero is zero. And what that tells me, and I took those pictures away because I got to write the answer over here. That tells me that we have 140 with the remainder of 23. So let's go ahead and talk about that right there. 140 with the remainder of 23. And that just says our quotient, our, our mixed number is, you start at the top, 143 and 2364. So here's 100, I'm sorry, did I say 143? 140 and 2364. So I tell my students, start at the top and go clockwise. So 140. 2364. So the quotient 140 at 2364 says that there are 140 groups of 64 with that remainder of 23. So let's answer the question. How many rides are there? Well, there's 140 full rides and then the last ride with 23 left over. So something like this. There's going to be 141 rides that are given and 23 people were on that last ride. All right, you guys, I hope that makes sense and take care and be good to your teachers this year and do your work. You'll see only good things coming out. Take care.